was a frightened rabbit. So you live in, in England now, but you're you originally, you grew up in Iceland. Yeah. Is there like a, a close-knit music community in Iceland? Yeah, definitely. Um, everybody knows everyone yeah. in the music community. And I think, um, I think it's a very natural development in Iceland because, you know, when I, when I grew up, um, parents would send you to learn one instrument. You would maybe be in the choir as well in school. You would have to do one sport and then you did dancing. So in me and Armini, mm. you say that people will say you're heading for a meltdown. Like you're almost like trying to like counter the like criticisms or anything like that. Like do you feel like it was kind of meant in that way or was it just... No, I don't think it was meant in that way. I don't remember writing that song, so I don't really know <laughs> what, what, it's, what it's about. But it's the title track. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. it's the title of the, the record just because it fits the picture. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of, you know, like a... Like almost like a stalker p prison picture from the fifties. I was like, mm, like I'm a man on it or something. I worked with these artists called, um, called uh, Billy and Tells, and they do portraits. And they're amazing. They look like paintings or something. Um, so they were just, you know, they had no idea about my music or anything. So they were just taking a picture like a subject. Right, right. You know, so they were just trying to get a moment. So I loved this picture because it was much more of an art thing than me. Is that a fictional character or is that a real character? Well, the story is, is that um, it is a fictional character, but I also found out that it is a name. Yeah. And funnily enough, it's an Italian name, yeah. male name. I didn't know that at all. I've never heard it. And um, um, and the song is kind of stalkery. <clears throat> it used to be longer. And, um, and I had a stalker. So I don't know what happened there, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and he was Italian, and um, um and the fu funny bit was is that uh, me and Dan Carey we were yeah. with, we were in the studio, um, and we would just written Fireheads and Whole Tart in the day I think, and so but we were just kept going into the night and decided to have a bit of whiskey, you know we deserve it for working. We made fun that there was this woman that stalked Armini, who came into my whiskey, her spirit, because she's dead and kept stalking him. Okay, the Lord of the Rings. How are you approached for it? Then? Colin Wallace is an, um, used to work at Rough Trade. And mm -hmm. He's a very good friend of mine before I was with Rough Trade. Yeah. Um, um, and he uh, is the manager of Liz Fraser from the Cocteau Twins. And she sung in the movies. Um, so he had given um, kindly and <laughs> very generous of him to and I gave my CD to one of the music people there. And they asked me to come down to uh, Abbey Road Studio One. Oh, nice. And I was just like, yep, okay, <laughs> yes, please, thank you. So I was, you know, I was just really excited to be asked because, yeah. you know, I've been a big fan of the books. Well, that was, that was, was going to be the uh, next question. I yeah. you were a fan going into it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it was just like, <gasps> and uh, the, the thing was that I, you know, had gotten the luxury seats in the in Iceland. They have luxury seats in the cinema, so you have lazy boys nice. in the back, and you can go. And me and my friend were like, "Let's get those," you know, for 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 the first movie. And I waited so long for that movie. We both sat there, and and I just had sort of popcorn and dribble going down my chin and going, "I have to be in this movie somehow," you know. And I just made a really strong wish for it, I think, because it was just, um, I got really obsessed with having to be in it, and then it, that came, and I was like, oh my god. Did you get to meet Peter Jackson or anything? Yeah, they met him through satellite, and so they sat in the sofa like, hi, and I'd never seen it before. I was like, what? You know, there was super technology. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, if you could sing it like this and that, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sort of sci-fi for me. Yeah, it is. But in the studio, that's always the most fun part for me. Yeah. Because you learn a lot in the studio. You just see how people work and how different it is, you know, really. And to be involved with something like this kind of, you know, incredible. But I dream, I just keep waiting.